Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today I'm going to cover statistical reporting in property and casualty insurance. First, what is statistical reporting? Statistical reporting is directly related to compliance and regulations in insurance world. When I say compliance and regulations, every insurance company have to submit their data when you say data their premium the losses and the transactions to department of insurance for all 52 states when you say 52 states by default the rules and regulations are maintained at the state level when i say state level if you go to california california state will have certain insurance laws that has to be you know followed by every insurance company which is running business in California state. Whereas when you go to Texas, they will have the separate uh, you know, state of insurance, the department of insurance, and they will have their state level insurance laws. Most of the time it will be common, but there could be some variations among states. Now, the second question, why do we need it? We, the department of insurance is always working in favor of customers, right? Like we don't want an insurance company which gets premium and then when there is a loss they were they were in a situation where they cannot make the claim payment right they cannot go into solvency when you say solvency bankrupt bankruptcy so the department insurance department of insurance on a regular basis collects their premium and their losses and their overall financial data to make sure that they are having a strong financial strength to run the business and that is why we need the department insurance department of insurance which can constantly review the financial health and the policy data of the insurance company the third point is what is do you mean by NAIC so NAIC stands for National Association of Insurance Commissioners as I told you this regulations are at the state level so every state will have a insurance commissioner so all these 52 states insurance commissioner will jointly form together and created this neic national association of insurance commissioners so they will come up with the laws regulations that has to be followed at each state level the fourth point what is the role of statistical agents like iso aas etc etc now as i told you the role of the department of insurance is to collect the data from each insurance company to make sure that you no know, everything is working as per the rules and regulations but we know there are more than 2000 insurance companies and every insurance company will have their own format in terms of data management so the department of insurance is it's not practically possible for the department of insurance to directly work with each and every insurance company so what they do is they appoint some few statistical agents like ISO, AAIS, who will work with these individual insurance companies and collect the data and make it in a required format that the department insurance can review or collect it. So that is why we need this intermediary agents who can you know, help the department of insurance. It's the point. So we have discussed what is statistical reporting. We have seen what is the use of it we have also discussed like what do you mean by neic and the roles of statistical agents now what kind of data we need to send to department of insurance the first critical data is financial data so on an annual you know every year you need to send your financial data including your you no know, existing premiums and what is the overall you know balance that you have so that the department insurance can make sure that you are not going to you know, miss the payment or claim payment in case of there is a loss. Product regulations, right? Like, you know, whatever the rates, say, example, if you have personal auto policy, so what is the rate that you are going to define for customers it has to be shared with the department of insurance to make sure that you are not overcharging or undercharging to get more customers. And also, not only that, like, all your transactions, the policy submission, you no know, endorsements, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so that 
we need to make sure every insurance company needs to make sure the laws or make sure that they follow the laws and regulations no described by the department of insurance for every state the third is market regulations right so the department insurance department of insurance can have a random visit to the insurance companies to review their book of records and the ex the premises etc to make sure that no they follow all the required regulations now let's see what are the typical ways the insurance company is going to provide the data the step number 1 is collecting the data right like you need to collect the loss data you need to collect the premium data and once you collect it you need to submit the data to this agents like iso and again there are many ways you can submit the data to the iso statistical agents the third step is once you submit validating the data right like could there could be you no know, historical data that are not formatted correctly so statistical agents like iso ais they do some kind of validation before accepting the data now final point is statistical plan so we all know there are 2000 plus insurance companies some could handle commercial lines some could handle personal lines some could handle different types of products so this agents could have different statistical plans that can be shared with the insurance company based on the type of business and then the insurance company has to send the data based on what statistical plan that they are covering under and when they say statistical plan every statistical plan will have a format like if you want to send the policy information the field has to be like you no know, starting with policy number followed by the insured name etc etc and uh, to make it consistent like this kind of statistical agents assign some unique code so that it's uniform across all the insurance companies one example is say if you have a insurance company a which has coverages in certain ways like coverage limits in certain ways certain ways compared to other insurance companies then it's very difficult for us to have consistent data right so it's very important that we have consistent data sent to the department of insurance so that's the reason why the statistical plan will have a way that the iso or aas expects data from each insurance company so it is a responsibility of the insurance company to convert the raw data into the format that this statistical agents expects and then send that so that they can take that and then review the data and then send it to the department of insurance i hope you like my training videos if you like my training videos please do subscribe to my youtube channel Have a great day. Bye-bye.